What is up ladies and gentlemen, CJ the Cheese DJ here and we're back. So this is a follow up to our Rock Drake Egg Gathering with our Mole Rat. Today I'll be showing you how to get down there and how to get out of it. Now just to clarify a few things, we're starting off here just so you guys have evidence obviously and believe me that we don't have any admin commands activated at the moment because we're going to go in this straight away fresh and clean just like we did on the last one. But as well as that, a few things that I didn't mention in the last video that are uh, not going to say anything but people have accused me of is that apparently I've spawned the roll rat down there which isn't true and the fact that um, I said you could get your roll rat out that is not true also I never said you could get your roll rat out because uh, chances are it will die down there but the result is that you end up with a rock drake egg which is why it's a, it's a risky maneuver but you know you can't really expect to get out of there alive with a rock drake egg unless you've got a really high level ravager and a lot of zip lines and believe me I've spent a lot of try time trying to get around zip lining everywhere and trying to set up zip lines so that I could escape. Now you can see here we've got our roll rat here. Now this guy was a 150 tame and he's pretty much just short of being max level. You can see he's got 30k health, plenty of stamina, uh, a decent amount of weight and heaps of melee damage. Now, if you're lucky, you can actually get these guys to survive down there and always return to them later. Uh, that's our cash. There's our shine horn. I was looking for our shine. He's king of the roll rat. So yeah, okay, we need to get the roll rat, the shine horn down there. So this is how you will pretty much essentially survive from the nameless by bringing your shine horn. Now, if you go this way, you won't actually get attacked by the uh, whatchamacallit either. The, the rav not the ravages. You can see a bunch of the nameless coming. Uh, moat and light, there we go. Okay, cool. So now that'll, that'll deter them from attacking us, which is good. Now you're gonna wanna come to this specific point. We're just gonna go into in-depth detail of our armor and everything. You can see how much damage we're absolutely wrecking these guys. Okay, so you can see this little uh, pole thing here. You're gonna wanna come to this location. It is 51.3, 44.4. That's where you wanna come if you plan on doing the roll rat method, my method. There are plenty of other methods out there, so don't be afraid to check those out. Go By all means, go ahead, whatever you got works for you guys personally and best. I just find this is the easiest and the quickest way to get down there. So you can kind of see down there the, the purple little lake there. That's where you want to aim for. Now, with the roll rat and the saddle on, you actually don't take full damage. The only thing that you do that does take damage is the roll rat saddle. And you can see there, it's full. So that's all there really is. Now, before we get into it, we're going to just go through our quick equipment that we've got on us quickly as soon as we take care of these Titan of Bowers. So you can see here we've got the hazmat suit which is essential. You've got a glider suit as well. We don't have the uh, zip line attachment on our legs because we don't. We do have some zip lines down there but nothing that will really save us in a time of need. And you see here we've got climbing picks galore. All right, so what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna make sure you bring plenty of climbing picks. Climbing picks are a must, especially if you plan on leaving the roll right down there because it's very difficult to get him out. Pretty much impossible. So what you're gonna wanna do is roll off the cliff. Now you wanna go in a straight direction. You can kind of see the lake down there. Directly beneath us is where we want to go. Now, like I said, the roll wrap will not take fall damage. You can see here we've come out of the roll mode. Now this is where the fun part starts. So just before you hit the ground, you can see we're taking radiation damage. We won't actually hit the ground for quite a bit of time, but you can see here we're slowly falling. Now, just before you hit the floor, what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna jump off your mount. Now, for whatever console you're playing on or PC, you guys know the corresponding buttons for that surely by now. Triangle is for PlayStation, but you can see you're gonna wanna jump off. Now, even if you jump off, don't be afraid to take fall damage because you do have the glider suit on. And you can see our roll rat over there is perfectly fine. You know, there's nothing there attacking him and we've managed to get back to him perfectly safe. And you can see that we are now, as soon as we get closer to him, back on him. And literally that is all I did to get down here with my roll rat in the previous video. That, that's all it requires. Just a brief jump from a cliff, hopping off at the last second to prevent your roll rat from taking any fall damage. And that's it. Now, in terms of escaping, the roll rat is easily able to take on the drakes. I'll show you here's one right here in front of us. These guys aren't really, all that powerful to be honest with you when it comes to trying to take on them. When you get a whole horde of them, that's when things get a little bit difficult. But once again, that's why you bring the roll rat for because you can easily outrun them on the floor with the roll rat's roll ability. You can see there, you're easily able to outroll them. Now, the only downside to this, like I mentioned previously, is that he has a horrible turning radius. But you're only gonna wanna be using this to get away from the rock drakes just to try and single them out to easily take them on one by one kind of thing. You can see here, here's another one no problem taking it on whatsoever. It should aggro on us, and we've got our shine horn on us to prevent the nameless from falling and attacking us, but there aren't any seekers here. 
as far as I've been able to find, I've found no seekers. But you can see, what you're gonna wanna do before you try and take the rock drake egg is you're gonna wanna try and clear out all the rock drakes in the area because obviously they're all gonna aggro on you when you take the egg. So you might as well clear them out with your strong roll rat while you're here instead of them all swarming on you when you take the egg. And you can see here, this is a really high level one, 116, and you know, we're, we're easily able to take it on. Now, like I said, our roll rat was a 150 tame, and he's just short of, I think he's only got like six or seven more levels before he's a max level tame. You know, he's not essentially abandonable. You can easily leave him down here and he'll easily protect himself against the roll, against the drakes, sorry, easily. And the nameless won't attack him because he is not the player. The nameless only attack the players when they don't have the shine on. And you can see here we're in this little section now. I don't see any eggs on these surrounding nests. Unfortunately, there is a drake over there. So what we're going to do is we're going to go find a nest quickly and we're going to take the egg and make our great escape. Okay, so for the purposes of this video, you can see there is an egg right here. It looks like it's glitched underneath the nest for some strange reason. But there is a rock drake just chilling over there. So what we're going to do is we are going to come down and kill it with our roll rat just so it doesn't swarm on us but you know there's there's plenty of ways for you guys to be able to get the rock drake eggs there's plenty of videos out there i'm not saying my way is the best i just want to provide sufficient evidence enough for you guys to believe me that you can get a roll rat down here getting it out is a different story because you pretty much have to go around the other side and climb up the huge ramp and it's practically impossible unless you want to try and build an elevator down here now you can see this roll this drake here and the egg, where'd that egg go? You can see that it's glitched out from underneath the nest. There's the nest there. So we're gonna kill this rock drake if it decides to aggro on us. You're gonna come down and kill us, buddy. There we go, and you can see that he's aggroed on us finally. And this is a 144. This is probably one of the strongest rock drakes I have ever seen in the little uh, ravine here. So you can see here, he's, he's hitting 50 damage per shot, but it's not too bad because we do have the Roat's health bumped up to 30k easily. Now this is, can be done on official servers because the stats that my Rollrat has are all official based. I have not tweaked the, um, the server settings for my single player server aside from gathering stuff. So there's no way this Rollrat is in any way more overpowered than another one. It's just a matter of um, leveling up high enough. Now I don't know if we can pick this up from here. Yes we can, all right. So you can see there we've got the fertilized rock drake egg. They're all going to swarm on us now. We're going to come back to our roll rat here. And this is what happens when you kill all the rock drakes in the area. None really want to swarm on you. There you go. You can see one there. There they come. So you can see we've got three on us. Nothing the roll rat can easily handle. The reason why I chose the roll rat for this and not say the megalosaurus, the, you know, the, the ravagers is essentially you can do this really easily. And if you choose not to fight them, you can easily roll away. However, the roll rat is easily one of the stronger creatures in aberration and is easily able and capable of take, tanking these guys. You can see here, not having a problem whatsoever. Granted, this guy is a very high level. You look, we're going to take a second here to show you his stats. He's got 31,000 health, but even so, a roll rat with 20k health would easily accomplish this. A roll rat with 15k, I would say, would easily accomplish this. So make sure you, um, you know, you put a bit of levels into this guy. Don't be afraid to lose him because roll rats are very easy tamed to get. However, the chances of losing this guy down here once you've got him that powered up are very close to impossible because you just set him on neutral, set him in a little position, and he'll be set there for any time you want to come down and collect rock drake eggs. The only downside, obviously, is that you won't be able to get him out once you get him down here. Now, you can see here we're easily able to get out of this little ravine bit. There we go, you can see there. And there's more drakes over here, not much of a problem, to be honest with you. You saw our roll, rate, roll rat easily accomplish killing them. This guy's got friends over there, you can see him. Now, to get out of here, all you need is the climbing peaks and you begin your long climb up. That's all there really is to it, guys. If this is your first rock drake egg that you're trying to get and you go by this method, make sure to bring climbing picks with you because regardless of what team you bring, you will need them. So I would just recommend going over to the Giga Bones just over here, up this little cliff face. I don't know what the heck that was. Oh, it was just us breaking a rock. And leaving your roll rat on neutral to obviously protect your escape route. Even if you get swarmed by drinks, you can leave him, tell him to attack target, and then climb up the cliff face. Now this will take you all the way back up to the top. Granted, you climb up the right cliffs. It will also take you back to the actual rampway that leads you to the rock drake nest on the other side. This is one side of the rock drake nest. The other side also has more nests, but that's that's all there really is to it, guys. 
um, you know, just further evidence that you can accomplish getting rock drag eggs this method and managing to escape with them, to be honest with you. Like that, it's not too difficult once you figure out all the mechanics behind it. And like I said, that way was the easiest way for me to get a roll rat down here. Those coordinates up the top, you can see the pillar from here. And just rolling from that position gets you all the way down here in literally like 30 seconds is all it took us to get down here. So like if you're not afraid to lose a roll rat, even like a low level one, like a level 50 or something like that, you can easily um, you can easily level it up in a bit of health and easily get it down here and without losing it to death by falling. It's quite easy guys, I promise you. Just one thing to take note is that if you do come out of rolling due to hitting the surface or something like that, make sure you do get off it preemptively, otherwise you will take fall damage on your roll rat. It won't be enough to kill it, but you can take fall damage from it. So make sure you do, oh God, oh God, make sure you do, um, Make sure you do hop off it preemptively. Now we're just trying to navigate these bones here, but you can climb up this. You see that waterfall over there? That is part of the route to get to the rock drake nest, the actual way, through the actual ramp part way. And all you gotta do is climb up this cliff face and you can easily get over there. But uh, just a little continuation on guys. So you saw us from the giga bones over there. All you needed to do was pretty much glide and you can get yourself onto this cliff face that leads all the way up to the path. Now you can leave a mount waiting for you on this path. I wouldn't recommend it. I would say just continue climbing. Make sure you plan to bring lots of climbing picks with you though. We're about to go through our first climbing pick here. You can see it's slowly diminishing, but if you've got the glider suit, you're practically invulnerable. Oop, there you go. You can see there, practically invulnerable to taking fall damage because the wingsuit will save you. And you can slowly bring in getting the climb up to the ramp where you come down and it's just above there. And it's just a matter of climbing. If you've got the drake egg on you, which you can see here we have, as soon as I bring it up, there you go, you can see there, it's easily worth it once you get this rock drake. So make sure you guys do bring lots of climbing picks and your gliding suit, don't forget your hazmat suit. But other than that guys, that'll be it for today. Thanks very much for watching. Hopefully you found this useful and believe me that there are ways to get the roll rad down there without breaking the game and spawning it in, like many people assumed I did. But yeah, other than that guys, thanks very much for watching and I'll catch you in the next one. Got this soda, Remy boys and dogs